Julie Briskman decided on a whim to give the bird to President Trump's passing motorcade. <laughs> Welcome to this week's edition of Wacky Moments of Liberal Expression. The media likes to point out President Trump's poll numbers, which is fine, but sometimes that's just not enough. MSNBC likes to project into a near future in which Trump could kill millions in a nuclear war with North Korea, all in order to raise his poll numbers. They're on both on a hair trigger. Be very easy to have an escalation. Uh, to be extraordinarily skeptical, you can point out that, that wars tend to raise people's polling average their approval ratings, at least in the, yeah. in the short term. Or to be extraordinarily skeptical, you could point out that liberal bias colors the tone of your broadcast and you want to scare the bejeebus out of the public for your ratings. Kind of like this scare about guns that they want to instill in the public. I'd like conservatives to point to a single instance. What is it, the Whiskey Rebellion? Was it the Brinks robbery? Other acts of political violence in the United States where, where conservatives were saying they used their guns to protect their liberties. You, you won't find a single instance. Can't find an instance. Even though it was earlier this week when gun owner Stephen Williford helped stop the madman in Texas and defended the people of Sutherland Springs. On a lighter note, remember after the election when liberals were concerned for our children because Trump was crude and he was a bully. And you have people putting children to bed tonight and they, they're afraid of breakfast. They're afraid of how do I explain this to my children? Well, now the liberal media has found an example for children for which they applaud. Julie Briskman. Julie Briskman decided on a whim to give the bird to President Trump's passing motorcade. <laughs> Great. <laughs> and take a good look at this hand, Republicans and Independents. It's about all the coverage down the middle that you can expect to see from the mainstream media. That's our wackiness for this week. I'm Eric Shiner for MRC TV.